the Disability Rights Center began its investigation after they were contacted by an attorney nearly two months after an incident where they say a 14 year old was unlawfully restrained. The DRC's report points to video evidence where they say staff held the teen's door shut after he repeatedly opened it. When staff let the door open, the boy came out into the hallway. The DRC says that's when staff allegedly pushed the teen to the ground and one landed on top of him with their full body weight, breaking the boy's shoulder blade. According to state law, restraint can only be used in emergencies where there is a substantial imminent risk of serious bodily injury, bodily harm to the child or others. The DRC says in this case, there was no such risk. There's some concern that they're not really, that they haven't really been taking um, the use of restraint seriously. It's supposed to be a last resort because it's dangerous, it's traumatizing, um, and yet it seems to be um, just a relatively commonly used technique in the facility. Now, both the DRC and the Office of the Child Advocate are calling for better training and reporting practices. Health and Human Services Commissioner Jeffrey Myers says that he and the Attorney General are investigating. We're live in Manchester. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.